just to give you a warning, this could be probably the most boring video you've ever seen in your life. So now's your warning, yeah? If you don't want to watch it, leave now. Today, we're going to clean house. And we're going to be cleaning this parquet floor. So first of all, we put in two capfuls of this cleaning milk. There's two capfuls, so a bit more. Okay. And we've got our little cleaning pad. And the thing is, with a parquet floor, don't make it too wet. If I'm cleaning the floor, I like to have some 70s funk in the background. Otherwise, I just die of boredom. Hit it. Got visitors coming from out of town today. That's why I'm cleaning the floor. I don't want them all to think I'm a dirty slob. This floor's Austrian oak parquet. Tell you a little story about it if you want. I was gonna lay this floor myself. But in the end, I got a uh, a local firm in to do it and they subtra subtracted the job, subcontracted the job out to some Polish guys who came and did it. But the guy who was running the firm, the German firm, as soon as he finished this job, he committed suicide because he's his firm went bankrupt, hung himself in a tree in the field behind us. How about that then? This floor is taking some right stick from the uh, kids dropping stuff on it, from the adults too sometimes. When they drop wine on it and stuff but in about five years time when the kids have grown up a bit and become less messy I'll just rent out a, a sanding machine and take off about three millimeters off the whole lot and then afterwards it looked like new again and that's the uh, good thing about getting proper parquet solid rather than laminate. Laminate's cheaper in there at the beginning. But after maybe 10 years, it starts to look a bit shabby, I think anyway. And with this stuff, you can sand it down at least three times. So each time you get it sanded down, it looks brand new. I usually only clean it about once every two months or something. You just sweep it up, that's good enough. But because I've got friends coming from England, I'll do a special job. Quite good exercise, you know, I'm already sweating. You might ask yourself, uh, why am I doing a video about me cleaning the uh, cleaning the room? Good question. My question is, why are you watching it? I'm doing it so 
I don't feel too mad talking to myself doing it while I'm doing it. Anyway, it's good for your soul. It feels like you're cleaning your soul. All the dirty sins washed away. So as I say, the trick is not too much water on there. If you put too much water on there, it can soak into the wood and make it swell up and it bubbles. This wood's been oiled and this, uh, this cleaning stuff's got some sort of wax in there as well. And basically what you're doing is just cleaning off the stains and the dust. This is what happens if you're a stay at home dad. This is what you do. Stay about. Doing the hustle in the street, at work, in the office, on the building site, whatever. You have to do the hustle at home on your own. Like pirates of the Caribbean, really, swabbing the deck. Which is the same as actually what the decks of the old pirate ships were made out of. Oak boards. This is the worst bit, because this is where all the fat and crap spits out of the uh, stove and goes on the floor. But it's only fat, so it just goes into the uh, wood. And if you, when you oil it, it's oil, isn't it? So just got to clean it every now and then. People say it's hard to keep parquet uh, in good condition, but I don't find so. It's not too bad at all. So now I'm standing outside. Let's get the last bit where the sliding doors go. This is the worst bit here because the kids always come in with muddy shoes on them. This bit's definitely going to have to be sanded down one day. The last little bit now. Let's clean the aluminium that butts onto the terrace. So, there we have it. A nice floor that any housefrau could be proud of. Have a great day.